and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over to see another brand new video. Well All right guys, so it is a overcast day. We are in my homeschool office kind of room. We homeschool, but I know tons of families are trying virtual learning and some hybrid learning. And I thought it would be fun to do a room tour of what my room kind of looks like that I homeschool in. Now you don't need a separate homeschool room. Um, I did at my dining room table for years and used um, like a little file box and that was it. Nothing fancy, no big deal. I just happen to have a spare room because um, I only have one child and I had three bedrooms upstairs so I turned this kind of into the homeschool but more the office room too. I do have another channel where I document what God is doing in my life. It's called Letters with Lacey and I film in here all the time. So the majority of that channel I film in here. I write in here all the time. Like I use this as like kind of like my work room. Anything that I have to do is kind of like an office room. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. So without further ado, let's get to the tour. As you walk in the room or from the hallway, this is kind of what you see. It's nothing fancy, but I really wanted to go with kind of this blush um, pink. It's actually more apricot in person and a um, green color as my colors in this room. And I really, really like it. Um, you'll see more mint green later, but I kind of made this like open, bright, airy. Um, this is just the builder's paint that's on the wall, nothing special. You, I wanted you to look at it and be and really want to walk in there. So this is not a desk. It's actually a dining room table that I got from Walmart of all places. I found it online. It was a little over $100. I want to say it was like $109. It's called the Bankston, and... It is wonderful because we use it as like a desk. Usually I sit on one side, he sits on one side. My son actually pulls in, he has like a gaming chair, kind of like an office chair. So he usually pulls that on this side. I haven't found a great chair for me, so I use like this bench and I'll show you guys later. So over here is kind of all the school things. So we use a curriculum called The Good and the Beautiful and this is a history timeline and um, we do science with the good and the beautiful and this is our vocabulary board we actually just finished this is kingdoms and classifications we just finished mammals it, and this was all the vocabulary words from there so i just stuck them on there instead of throwing them away one thing i can tell you if you're virtual learning or anything like that is to get maps um, have some kind of map that your child could look at. These that I got are actually like a sticker. So it's flush with the wall, as you can tell, and it's like a sticker that I got from Walmart, and I have a world map and a US map. I needed a place to put our list. We make a list every single day of what he needs to do, and then I needed to have a vocabulary board somewhere. So the maps are up there, it works really good really really like it the, the history timeline is here as well and in our curriculum we reference it a lot so i just put it up here with painters tape no big this is kind of what keeps us organized on the daily and usually either i write this or my son writes this um so he knows what to expect about half of it we do together about half of it he does himself this would be my son's cubby so the stuff on top really isn't super, super important. This is just a sign that my mom sent him a long, long time ago. And these are some fun pins that she sends him. This is the little dot Alexa. Oh, see, I talked to her. Never mind. These are just some boards that I had. So in the beginning of the school year, we were doing some color stuff and he put it up there. And then he usually keeps his computer either up here or down here. Um, right now it's up here and... Um, that works out really good. So I'll show you guys, this is kind of like his little cubby. It has all the homeschool stuff in it. This is all of his curriculum. This is a science, this is a science too, um, but I already had it in a notebook, so I just left it up there. This is just kind of a regular notebook that he puts all of his loose leaf kind of assignments that he has to do. These two are Bible. 
Oh, he does ace paces, and so this is a math and a science ace paces. This is language arts from the good and the beautiful, handwriting from the good and the beautiful. This goes with his language arts, and these are history. And then these are the books that he's reading right now. This one's for language arts. These two are history. This is a little tiny notebook that he got. It's actually a grateful journal, and so I make him write so many things that he's grateful for every day because I want to for him to practice gratuity in general. On here um, is just some miscellaneous stuff. I thought that he would just put his computer in here. It actually doesn't fit. So his Bible's down here, and there's some... Um, of those twist crayons are down there. This is actually the keys for the ace paces and then um, the paces that he's done already. So, and the tests, I usually pull the tests out and put them in there. So these are his books for the year that I want him to read. The back ones back here are actually our history books. Those ones are the ones we've read. And usually what happens is that pile gets longer than this pile. So we're getting there. It's only, it's only the beginning, right? So up here is some of the stuff we use on the daily for just school in general. So these are his flashcards that he uses in language arts, and he does language art lesson every single day. Then this one, two, three are all history games. So he's actually on his third year of history with this curriculum, and those are all the games from year one, year two, year three. And they'll reference and say, hey, go back and do the game from year one. He loves these guys. Oh my gosh, loves the games. His curriculum, they use oil pastels a lot, so that's why they're right here. And then he has two separate um, pencil boxes. And this is another thing that I can say is definitely worth it, essential grab a dollar pencil box and oh my gosh, I actually think one of these is from kindergarten to be honest. But every year I put stuff in the pencil box and um, try to at least put what he needs in there. So he has pencils, a glue stick, a stapler, a uh, sharpener, erasers, just the normal scissors, just the stuff that he would need or use on the daily basis. And then this one is all the extras, so it has like the colored pencils, the crayons, and some more sharpeners. I have no idea how I got so many pencil sharpeners. Crazy, right? But that, um, having the two, I used to cram it all in one box, and it was horrible. And I don't know why I never thought of just having two boxes. So, these work really well. There is some additional flashcards back there and some games that somebody got me. Um, we use them here and there but I keep them kind of in the back just in case. So I really, really like the curtain rod. I got it from Lowe's. Um, it needs to be scooted over and all the things, but that's all right. And the um, I like the crystal touches. And then these curtains I actually got from Target. So basically a ton of things were from Target because when I went to go buy stuff, I really wanted to buy everything from Walmart um, because it's usually cheaper, but I was having a hard time getting stuff delivered. So I love these curtains. They're a really, really nice material. Like I would have these in my bedroom. They're such a nice material. Oh my gosh, I just love them. I think they're so pretty. These two things and the other square units I actually got from Target as well. So over here is my little cubby. So I have a, so I put the printer over here. I have um, the stuff I use on the daily basis. I use this for my Bible study and this for my business stuff. I have a whiteboard under here that we sometimes use for school. And then down in the cubby, I'll show you guys what I have. So this one is a little bit messy right now. It's what I reach for the most. So I just have pens in this one and colored um, markers and things in that one. And that was super easy. These are things I had, I think, from the, maybe the Dollar Spot or the Dollar Tree. Who knows? Um, these little things actually did, I know, came from the Dollar Tree. Um, for some reason, I use painter's tape all the time, so I just keep it there. Kind of put all the rest of the odds and ends in here. So for some reason, I had a ton of like um, post-it, you know, lined 
papers to make lists. And so I put all of those in here, a calculator, a pen, some tape. Um, these were the rings that I've been talking about and I can only find this pack. I cannot find, I need like two more packs. Oh, so annoying. So I put those down there so I don't lose them. And I have been keeping my wireless mic down here because I have a Zoom call that um, a lot of times I need a wireless or I need a mic on my computer. Um, this is just a magazine and then this is the book that I've been reading um, and it's about, um, it's Tim Keller's The Prodigal Prophet. It's about Jonah and you know how you identify with people in the Bible? I identify with Jonah so much, so much. Over here, we just have paper. This is another like to-do list thing. This is like a Scentsy warmer. I thought I would use it, but I really just like the colors, so I don't use it. This has dry erase markers in it. This is all my planner stuff, and it has been really hard to find this color, and it actually matches the curtains really, really well, but it's been really hard to find or I would have more. Um, this is a file box that has all my importance papers and all the things in it. I have a clipboard, a spiral notebook, and um, this is actually like a book and clipboard. And then there's some extra paper. And I have more paper in another place as well. So, so side note, what happened, what happened to me to want a whole room was the fact that like I had stuff and I couldn't get to it. Like it wasn't organized really well and I couldn't find things. And so I had like more than one stapler, more than one notepad to write a list on, um, reams of paper, like I had all this stuff but I couldn't like get to it. It was just all in like a tote and it was just never accessible and I was like I have to figure out a way to organize it. So that's how I came up with this system. So you'll see above here, these are just two Target calendars. The first one is like a personal calendar. This one is like a business calendar. So I can't just keep track of like when I upload and things like that. And I like having the separate. If you come to this wall, um, this is a timeline that we're doing in history. So we've just been putting that up there. This is a just a regular whiteboard. And I'm going to take this um, cork board and I'm actually going to put it um, up and down vertically right here um, but I need to get some command strips because there's no way to hang it like with a nail very annoying but true so this is my far wall as you can tell I have the same curtains the same curtain rod and I really really like I really really like it I think I think that the curtains go really well with the mint green as well, and I really like it. It's actually lighter in person. It's coming off really dark on camera, but it's so dark outside, you guys. It's like been storming all day. So these I bought right before I moved in, and I'm going to make like a little shoe place in my garage. <laughs> Haven't got that done yet. So they're up here. Um hanging out uh and i'm actually gonna make like my dream board kind of vision board right here kind of long and i haven't got to that but you know what that's okay we're if i waited till it was perfect it would never get done right so let me show you how i store everything in here the top these are just some old pictures that i had that i was like what should i put on the top and i put those this is a bath and body works candle a flower from target um this is actually a little tree that lights up and um, during the holidays, I usually put like, I'll hang leaves on it for fall and I hang little pine cones on it for like winter and Christmas and I have, um, different things. I just don't have anything for like summer and I want to get like some flower ornaments and hang that and kind of change it with the season. I think it'd be really fun. So there are 16 cubbies here. And these ones, I didn't know how many I would need of these buckets, so I just got eight. I probably need another line, but I would really like them to be like the pink color. So I've just been kind of working with it right now. These are actually from Michael's. They're like a dollar. And um, in here I have pencils and pencil toppers. In here I have rubber bands and all the craft sticks. Like I have popsicle sticks and thumb, you know, all the craft things. I put them in there. These are thumbtacks and 
staples and things like that. These are, um, this is tape and extra scissors and um, glue sticks. And so I just put them all in there. I actually probably need double of this and I can put it in another cubby. But like I said, I was having a really hard time shopping. So what can you do? And this is just a little um, decorative cross that is two nails, which I love. And um, I got it at Hobby Lobby and I just, I love having reminders like that all over my house. Um, this is just for me. It's not anything. Um, that's me and my husband before we had our son. Um, this is us oh, a couple years ago, probably five years ago. Um, these are some pictures of us, me and my bestie. And then this was my dad's. So, cause he was in the army and it falls down all the time. So I just put it right there. So that was just kind of a fun decorative thing. This is where all the paper goes. So this is a whole nother white paper. This is lined paper. And then this has all the extra random things. So like a lighter for the candle that's up on the top here. Um, gum, a thank you card, you know, like there's just kind of random things in here. I've had this giraffe forever, so I just keep it in there. If I have a random cord, um, I think it's fun. It's always good just to have a place to put something random and that's my random. This I love. Oh my gosh. I love that it's color coordinated. And this is a mix of cardstock and construction paper. And I try to just group them all together and make it pretty. So, and this was the sign from the first day of school. Cause we actually started school this year in June. So this side is all my extras. So this is the next Bible that he's going to be doing. And this is the next one after that. And this is another science. I think, yeah, this is meteorology. I actually cannot wait to do that one with him. It'll be super fun. Hole punch because you always need a hole punch. Um, these are some random books uh, that need to probably go downstairs. But they just have them here. Row. We have... All the random paper on this box we have all the random paper so um, you know all the lined paper all the stationary paper all the things and then I have all this extra paper that was colored and it just has lines on it and it was from when I did a Bible study and every week I would give out a different color paper so everybody could keep track of things these are some more weekly organizers and then of course tissues um, this is my big print Bible, so I keep it where I can reach it. This is just from Target. Um, this is my son when he was a baby. And then this is actually all of his science, and I got two years of it right here. So this is like the year he's working on, and this is the next year. They're the Ace Paces, and I just keep them lined up there. This is also what is here, the math. It's the same thing one year and another year just because I knew we were starting early and I didn't want to have to order in the middle of the year and if I wanted him to keep going. And that stuffed animal was not there and my son has commandeered its place right there. It's actually a Scentsy um, stuffed animal that you put a scent pack in and so I like having it in here because it makes it smell good. These boxes all have a particular purpose. These are post-its, um, more pens, uh, index cards, things like that. Um, this has chalk, wipes, rulers, um, things like that in here. It is ridiculously full of like craft stuff. This is a comic book making thing that I put in there because he works on that sometimes. So on the floor here gets more interesting. This is all Christmas stuff. So this is like crafts that we can do for Christmas that we ha my mom would send that we haven't got done or extra like Christmas supplies. Um, this is the same kind of a thing but for fall. So there's like a turkey game in here. There's, you know, stuff to do and crafts and stuff like that. And... 
um, she would, now she lives here, but she would send stuff and we just couldn't get to everything. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So I wanted to keep it somewhere that next year I could get it out and we could actually do it. This is the all the paint, basically. So all the paint, there's some tie-dye stuff, some stencils, paint brushes, anything paint related went in there. And over here is like the party stuff, which sounds funny to have like a party basket, but this was like balloons and poppers and um, anything that was like party related went in there. So that is it for over there. And I love how it looks. It looks now I know it'd be weird to show you a closet, right? And part of it I use as a regular closet, but part of it I use as a library. And so I always call it the library. <laughs> like if we're looking for something, I'm like, go look in the library. And um, this just happened to be a room that had a big closet and it worked out great. So this is the library. So basically I had this bookshelf and I think our ultimate goal is we want to just put in our own shelves here and kind of L it around um, because as you can tell it's a really big closet. And so I put all of our homeschool books up here. Um, there is more, a few more like supplies and things in here. These are all the cards that my child has ever received in his whole life. Um, there's just random keepsake things, but most of the books I would say are right here. I do have like some keepsakes and all that stuff in here, so I do use it as a closet as well. And um, so it's not like 100% perfect. I put wrapping paper over here. Um, these are old clothes that I want to keep that were his, and these are um, shirts from different places that we've traveled that I want to make into a quilt. So where are you going to put it? You're going to put it in your closet. But this has worked out so well. Somebody actually made this for me, this bookcase. But I think I can actually get so much more in here once we like make shelves. So one day we'll, we'll do that makeover and it will be wonderful. But this has worked out really, really good because as you can tell, it's just super easy to walk in there to get it. Um, it's light in there. There's actually behind the door. There's a window and um, It's just perfect. It works great. I use the top of it as a closet like for just regular storage But this is my library. Hey okay, guys, so that is it. That is my whole tour of this room so I hope it gave you some inspiration some motivation and if you're homeschool or if you're doing virtual learning this year You can do this. Don't worry God's with you, it, we will all get through it, and spending more time with my child has made us so much closer, I think, than we ever were before, and we love homeschooling, hanging out together. That is the particular reason why I wanted a table as well. I didn't just want um, a desk in here that he had to sit out by himself alone. Most of the time, like, he sits on that side and I sit on this side, um, and... That's just how it goes. This is just something I had and it's working really well, but I need to actually buy a chair. So let me know, like, are you guys homeschooling this year? Are you doing virtual learning? Are your kids going back to the classroom? Are you doing half and half? Cause I've heard of that, like blended, I think it's called. Um, what do you guys do? And do you set up a room or is it just like in your dining room? Cause I did that for years as well. So let me go what's going on for your guys' school year, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye for now.